morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So, following up yesterday's uh, video, sort of with the Black Lotus and stuff, and sort of herbing an AQ, I actually missed something um, talking about AQ and just some really awesome things you can do. And the thing I forgot to mention was short of shadow resist gear uh, made for twin imps. And this is especially important that I go over this because in my very first uh, video covering all the quests here to do in Silithus, I said that this quest was pretty much worthless. And this quest is actually not worthless. This quest is actually one of the most valuable quests that you can possibly do at the time of filming it. I just did not know that. So we come here to this cave to Hermit Ortel. And when you, yeah, it has a repeating quest now called Still Believing, and you turn in Encrypted Twilight Text, and he will give you 45 silver. Now, I have 200 of these, so we're going to do this 20 times here. Um, you know, I was really saving these texts in order to um, make a lot of uh, Scenarian Circle reputation. However, I sort of stopped the grind once I got to Honored. I need to grind more, honestly. But I have all these texts, and the real reason I'm deciding to turn these in is because I have, um, you know, I really want to get all these patterns. And the patterns that I'm talking about are called the Ruins um, Saturn uh, Gear. And so there is a chance, um, every time you turn in those, he will mail you a bag. And inside that bag has a chance to get a pattern um for tailoring as well as armor smithing now that pattern is going to be the ruined uh stajagian uh stygian stygian leggings um and they provide 25 shadow resist now this is so great for um warlocks for twin imps um i mean technically a mage could get it and do the same thing but warlocks are just exponentially better i would not recommend doing it as a mage but if that's your only choice then you're going to want to get these as a mage as well. Um, there are also the boots of that set with 20 shadow resist. And then finally the belts. Um, and that's just the three pieces that you can get. So we're actually trying to get those patterns. I um, actually found the belt on the auction house for 70 gold. And given these are going to be huge for warlocks and most guilds come a queue we can make a lot of money off of those so i went ahead and bought that pattern just because not many people know about it um i recommend getting these it's going to definitely be a huge win for you when the time comes so we're going to finish up turning these in and we will uh sort of see what we can get the only downside to this quest guys is that you have to wait anywhere between uh, one and 24 hours for him to mail you so we might not know what we get for about 24 hours however i will do a opening video tomorrow when we get all of these just to see how um lucky or unlucky we get so that was 20 uh 20 turn-ins, 200 techs. I could have sold those for 1.5G a piece um, just to go into the value of those patterns. Um, also, we will go over the blacksmithing patterns now. Um, that is going to be um, the... Oh, it's on mail. I was like, what is it? But it is going to be what is the Dark Rune set. And this is 25 Shadow Resist. You can get the chest piece. Um, you can get the hands... Um, right there, which 20 shadow resist, as well as a helmet. So those are the plate pieces for it. Now, I don't really think, to the best of my knowledge, that tanks really need those, so they're not really that valuable. However, I do have a 300 blacksmith, so can't hurt to send them over there. Some tank might want shadow resist for whatever reason, but I don't really think you need it until you go to um, Burning Crusade. But that's just my opinion. We'll just have to wait and see. Um... Anyway, guys, now I'm going to run you through the uh, previous uh, video's quest chain of sort of how to unlock this guy. So it's going to be old footage. My beard's going to be nice and long. Um, but we're going to roll that now. It's about four minutes. So if you don't want to learn about that, you can skip that. And we will see you at the end, guys. Alrighty, here you go. Voop. Alrighty, guys. So while you're out here in uh, the Twilight Highlands, and or not Twilight Highlands, holy crap, uh, the Crystal Vale, and you're trying to get these Twilight um, 
tabs. You can kill the elementals to try to get them, or you can just simply go on the ground and pick up these glowing ones. Some people don't necessarily know that you can loot them just by picking up the uh, tablets on the ground, but it's super huge and can definitely help you uh, get these Silithus quests done a lot faster. I'd only kill the ones that are pretty much guarding them. These guys are great farms for um, Essence of Earth and uh, Elemental Earths, as well as the Air ones are pretty good too, but just I would recommend just picking them up. It's so much faster. I killed about six of them and haven't gotten one from them, and I am getting a bunch here um this guy is for quest i'm not exactly sure when we come here to talk to him but i do know that he is for part of this quest um in here so just want to let you guys know all that and i will see you when we finish the next parts all righty guys Whoop. all righty guys so we made it here and we turned in all the uh, we turned in that tablet and then he has us go get these lexicon chapters so these are got by killing um some wandering twilight uh masters the first one was over here in this area we already got that so it's not showing up on my uh, quest but then we can head over here and get th number three and then all the way up there um or all the way down here for chapter two um it's pretty much just a tour of all the twilight encampments really so these are what the uh keepers look like guys nothing too hard to kill just twilight keeper uh extra they're pretty much a normal level 60 so nothing uh too bad to kill here as you can see um i am a geared raid geared mage so I, a lot of stuff that is easy to me could be difficult for other classes I uh, just wanted to keep you informed on that. And we have more people just out here grinding, farming these twilights, which is pretty uh, cool, I suppose. It's nice to see people actually uh, capitalizing on this content and grinding it. But there we have it. That's chapter 2. And then we are going to head up here and get chapter 3 and then turn in all these quests and get the next round of them. Anyway, guys, so we will go do that, and I will see when we get there. Voop! So guys, as you can see here, uh, this is where you find the third one. Um, people have been farming them and killing them, which is no shocker to me. Um, I like to just sit out here and, uh, you know, kill things while I wait because these Geolords and stuff provide a lot of awesome uh, loot. And holy crap, that dude just almost killed me. What the heck? That was a close one, guys. Wow, we lived with 27 HP with the quick flame ward and mana shield. Woo! Yeah, um, just be careful out here, guys. You can uh, you can definitely die pretty freaking easily. But that's all of those books, so we'll turn in these. Alrighty, guys. So that guy gave us two quests. One to uh, bring this up back to the commander at the camp, as well as get ten more encrypted twilight texts. So just another one of those farming things. So it looks like this dude just takes your stuff, your that, and gives you three gold and 84 silver for the encoded messages. And he does not give you reputation. So um, honestly, you don't even have to do that quest, but you can do it once just to complete it completely up to you. So just wanted to clarify, that was past me sort of saying that. Um, at the time, I did not know of the worth of those bags being sent to you this was my first time doing the silithus quest in classic so that's where that error was if you watched the first video but we're here right now to correct it so just wanted to clarify that it is worth it and this is the whole point of doing it Alrighty, guys Alrighty, guys wow look at that we're back and we haven't even moved our character um but yeah, so I really hope that this sort of helps you learn how to get this hidden set. It's pretty uh, lucrative, honestly. A quest chain behind a daily quest, behind it getting mailed to you, behind you having luck to open those chests or these uh, bags and get those patterns. Um, so best of luck to you guys if you are lucky, if you took more or less. I, I honestly don't know. I'm just kind of winging it here put uh, 200 text towards it you know 20 tries and hoping for the best but tomorrow's video will be me opening those bags once we get them so i hope uh it'll be fun so anyway guys thank you so much and i hope you have a great day i'll see you next time Bye bye 
If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.